Hello everybody and welcome to another week of Lullabies with Leo. We are here this week to read the book The Story of Ferdinand by Monroe Leaf. And I'm very excited. The back says, this is the story of Ferdinand, a little bull who would rather sit and smell the flowers than fight in the bull ring. Oh, I can't wait for all of you to hear this wonderful story. And it is now actually a movie. You can probably watch it on Hulu or Netflix or Disney or any one of those. Um, but here we go. The story of Ferdinand. Once upon a time in Spain, there was a little bull and his name was Ferdinand. All the other little bulls he lived with would run and jump and butt their heads together. But not Ferdinand. He liked to just sit quietly and smell the flowers. He had a favorite spot out in the pasture under a cork tree. It was his favorite tree, and he would sit in its shade all day and smell the flowers. Sometimes his mother, who was a cow, would worry about him. She was afraid he would be lonesome all by himself. Why don't you run and play the other little bull play with the other little bulls and skip and butt your head? She would say, but Ferdinand would shake his head. I like it better here where I can sit just quietly and smell the flowers. His mother saw that he was not lonesome and because she was an understanding mother, even though she was a cow, she let him just sit there and be happy. As the years went by, Ferdinand grew and grew until he was very big and strong. All the other bulls who had grown up with him in the same pasture would fight each other all day. They would butt each other and stick each other with their horns. What they wanted most of all was to be picked to fight at the bullfights in Madrid. But not Ferdinand. He still liked to sit just quietly under the cork tree and smell the flowers. One day, five men came in very funny hats to pick the biggest, fastest, roughest bull to fight in the bullfights in Madrid. All the other bulls ran around snorting and budding, leaping and jumping, so the men would think that they were very, very strong and fierce and pick them. Ferdinand knew that they wouldn't pick him and he didn't care, so he went out to his favorite cork tree to sit down. He didn't look where he was sitting, and instead of sitting on the nice cool grass in the shade, he sat on a bumblebee. Well, if you were a bumblebee and a bull sat on you, what would you do? You would sting him. And that is just what the bee did to Ferdinand. Uh-oh, this isn't going to be good. Wow, did it hurt. Ferdinand jumped up with a snort. He ran around puffing and snorting butting and pawing the ground as if he were crazy. The five men saw him and they all shouted with joy. Here was the largest and fiercest bull of all, just the one for the bullfights in Madrid. Uh oh. So they took him away for the bullfight in a cart. What a day it was. Flags were flying, bands were playing, and all the lovely ladies had flowers in their hair. They had a parade into the bull ring. First came the banderilleros with long sharp pins with the ribbons on them to stick in the bull and make him mad. Next came the picadores who rode skinny horses and they had long spears to stick in the bull and make him madder. Poor bulls. Then came the matador, the proudest of all. He thought he was very handsome and bowed to the ladies. He had a red cape and a sword and was supposed to stick the bull last of all. Then came the bull, and you know who that was, don't you? Ferdinand. What do you think Ferdinand's gonna do, huh? 
They called him Ferdinand the Fierce, and all the banderilleros were afraid of him, and the picadores were afraid of him, and the matador was scared stiff. Ferdinand ran to the middle of the ring, and everyone shouted and clapped because they thought he was going to fight fiercely and butt and snort and stick his horns around. But not Ferdinand. When he got to the middle of the ring, he saw the flowers and all the lovely ladies' hair, and he just sat down quietly and smelled. He wouldn't fight and be fierce no matter what they did. He just sat and smelled. And the bandi banderilleros were mad and the picadores were madder and the matador was so mad he cried because he couldn't show off with his cape and sword so they had to take Ferdinand <laughs> and for all I know he is sitting there still under his favorite cork tree smelling the flowers just quietly he is very happy the end so that is the story of Ferdinand and I have actually seen a bullfight, and I understand how important the tradition is to certain countries, uh, but it was very hard for me to watch. So I wonder what you all think. Do you think bullfighting should be allowed, or do you think it should not be allowed? Um, but either way, Ferdinand sounds like a lovely bull uh, who loves to just sit and smell the flowers. And with the flowers finally here, Celebrating spring, I hope you all take a moment to do the same. So thank you for joining us of another evening with Lullabies with Leo. <laughs> and we will see you all next week.